Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my Trying a New Makeup Product Everyday Series. Today I'm so excited to try out this Cake Lash Mascara from the brand Rowan. I got it in the shade Black Noir and this is a $28 mascara, which I think is quite expensive. I'm pretty sure I got this in Ipsy from Redeeming Points but I love trying out mascaras and I'm very picky with my mascaras. But the description of this sounds like exactly what I like in a mascara. So it has plant-based sunflower, bayberry, and carnauba waxes for flexibility and hold. So I love when mascaras have beneficial ingredients in them. It also is infused with olive oil to keep the lashes nourished and hydrated. It's formulated with a combination of silica and nylon 12 for high impact volume that is 100% clump free. It's clean, vegan, gluten free, cruelty free. So that's awesome. And it basically just claims to be volumizing, lengthening. And so I'm really excited to put this to the test. So let's check out, ooh. Pretty packaging. It does seem high-end from the packaging. I'm very curious what the wand is going to look like. Oh, whoa. This is a big wand and it's very densely packed bristles. Oh, wow. I'm so curious to see how this is going to work. Here you can see what the wand looks like. So I'm going to just go ahead and start applying it to one of my eyes. I do notice that it feels like it kind of grips onto the lashes with this brush. And I think it's really coating every lash. The size of it is making it a little bit of a struggle to get these outer corner lashes. You can see it's already <laughs> making a little bit of a mess because I have to use like the tip of the wand and a little bit of extra product there but it's already making the lashes very dark and they're staying separated and no clumping. So that's looking pretty good. Definitely going to be a messy wand, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it out on my lower lashes and try my best to not make too much of a mess. Yeah, it's definitely not super volumizing like just going in with a little bit on these lower lashes barely makes them visible. Eey. That got very messy. So not the best lower lash mascara, but if I can layer it up on these top lashes, there's hope. <laughs> so let's go in with a second coat and still, I mean, it's not very volumizing. It puts a very thin layer on the lashes. And I do like that there really is no clumping and the lashes are staying separated, but it does not seem to be lengthening. It's just kind of like the mascara is not really sticking down onto the lashes. So here, after I've been layering up for a while, this is what a lot of mascaras can do after just one quick coat. So that is really not impressing me. I'm gonna go ahead with another layer. Oh, and the mascara is all over my eyes and I already did my eyeshadow, so that's really annoying. Oh my gosh. I am really happy to see that the lashes are looking separated. This mascara is really good at that, but that's pretty much it. It's not lengthening. It's not volumizing. So I just really don't feel like it's living up to those claims. I am sitting here for so long trying to build up the volume, but that's as good as I can get. And you can see the difference with it versus without it. But usually I am seeing 
so much more volume on my lashes. So this is definitely the type of mascara that I would layer another mascara on top of. But now I'll just go ahead and try it out on the other eye. My left eye is always even more messy with mascara all over the eyelid than my right eye and my right eye is a hot mess. <laughs> so I'm trying to be so careful on this left eye. And I don't even know why I'm bothering on these lower lashes because it really doesn't do anything for them. I have to say I have not been too impressed with the Rowan products that I've been trying out lately. If you've tried any Rowan Beauty products that you really like, let me know what your recommendations are in the comments down below. But it's an expensive brand, so I just have higher expectations for those price points than what I have been seeing with their products, which is such a bummer. Oh my gosh, this is... This is so bad, so messy, so <laughs> minimal effect on the lashes. I really should just stop because I'm making such a mess. But that other claim of no clumping has definitely been true. Even after making such a mess and layering and layering, there really was never any clumping but holy moly my lashes look so bad and my makeup is such a mess right now I am so bummed <laughs> definitely not what I was expecting to get into with this mascara today but now I know that's why I do this series maybe I can save you the mess and the money <laughs> on trying this mascara so thank you so much for watching my video today be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.